healthy teeth habits start in your youth. So get yourself ready for the Total Tooth Truth! Welcome to the fast-paced, high-stakes game show in which kids bare their fangs to find out who has the healthiest oral habits. And here's our host, Betty Brushalot. Today, we have three young competitors who are going molar to molar, incisor to incisor, to keep their teeth in tip-top shape, defeat cavities, and be crowned the victor. <laughs> Carl, tell us what our competitors stand to win. Yes, Betty. One lucky kid will win an entire truckload of toothbrushes, toothpaste, and dental floss. All right, kids, tell us a little bit about yourselves. My name is Tom Enamel. I'm 10, and I've applied to a lot of top dental schools. Oh, and I once built a model on my teeth at a Legos and Dental Floss. I'm Periodontia. I'm 11. I volunteer at my local dentist office. My friends call me the Sparkle Queen because my teeth sparkle. And I'm Rodney. I... Uh, I think I'm in the wrong place. I thought I was signing up for Name That Sweet Treat. <laughs> Sorry, kid. That show was canceled last week. It caused way too many cavities. All right, let's get started. Our first question is, how often should kids see the dentist? I totally know this. The Fruit Punch Knockout by best-selling soda maker, Pop Sugar. <laughs> what? Oh, man, I studied so hard for the other game show. Wait, that is the answer. You go to the dentist when you drank so much sugary fruit punch that your teeth turn like bright pink. Otherwise, you run when you see a dentist. Fast. <laughs> Don't be silly. Kids should see the dentist at least once a year. That is correct, Perry. Let's head to the dentist's office and see what the experts have to say about that. Hi, I'm Rosie, the receptionist. I help you check in at the dentist. If you haven't been to the dentist in the past 12 months, it's time to make an appointment. The dentist will examine your teeth, and based on what you need to stay healthy, we'll let you know how often you should return. And if you forget to make an appointment, don't worry, I'll send you a reminder. Okay, our next question. How often should we brush? We should brush twice daily. <laughs> Are you serious? We're talking about teeth. We should brush them twice twice a day. I meant teeth. I totally did. <laughs> Once again, the total tooth truth has been revealed by both Tom and Rodney. Let's learn more. This is Caitlin, the dental assistant. Hi. Her job is to get you in the dentist chair and make sure you're comfortable. You can help us out by following your own healthy habits at home. It's important to brush your teeth twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. I'm just going to put this on, okay? Mm -hmm. So you don't get any toothpaste on your shirt. This is the water jet. The dentist uses it to rinse between your teeth and wash away the germs so that your teeth can stay healthy and you don't get any cavities. So this is the mirror. Like this one? Yep, so we could see all your teeth. And here is a little tooth counter so we could count all your teeth. And then this one is a little tooth shovel so Dr. Anna could scoop some little yuckies away. And make sure you eat healthy foods like fruits and veggies and high calcium snacks like cheese or milk. Any foods like soda and some other sweets that have a lot of sugar or acid can help feed the bacteria that cause cavities. Stop right there, mister. Can I have some? Sure, that's so good. Hey, those are sour apple flavored. That's a fruit. That kind of chewy, gooey sweet is the worst. It sticks to your teeth like glue. Sorry, Rodney. Have a nice crunchy carrot stick instead. Hmm. And now it's time for the Daily Dental Double, where our contestants can rack up twice the points for getting the correct answer. All right, kids, our next question is a toughie. What are three tooth healthy foods you've eaten in the last week? Write them down. And time's up. Let's start with Tom. A celery stick, an apple, and a glass of milk. Perfect, Tom. You certainly don't sugarcoat the facts. Perry? Broccoli, almonds, and cheese. And I ate all these things for breakfast. That's great, Perry. If you continue to eat like that, the only crown you'll need is your sparkle queen crown. Rodney? Soda, chewy fruit snacks, and a carrot. <laughs> well, Rodney, I'm glad to see you eat carrots, at least. You know, I actually kind of like carrots. 
Looks like we have a tie between Tom and Perry. At least two of our contestants know the drill. <laughs> our next question, do you always know when you have a cavity? Sure, you got a big fat hole in your tooth. It's gotta be totally obvious. Uh, no. Let me explain something, Rodney. Only your dentist can know. That's why they go to dental school, duh. Even with all my dental expertise, I can't spot a cavity. That's why it's important to visit your dentist. That's what I was gonna say. And Tom has taken another bite out of the competition. Now, let's meet the dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Anna, and I am your dentist. <laughs> and what the what? Is that a dentist? She's not in the building or anything, like hiding behind somewhere. Waiting to jump out of me with her horrible dentist watch a <laughs> Don't be silly. Dr. Anna is a kind, gentle dentist, and incidentally, if she could hear you, she'd probably have very hurt feelings. <laughs> Let's try this again. Hi, Rodney, I'm Dr. Anna, and I'm gonna take very good care of you today. There's no reason to be scared. Dr. Anna will look in your mouth and check if there's any decay. She might even take some x-ray pictures just to make sure she can see everything clearly. Decay happens when the germs in your mouth eat away at the tooth enamel and it can make your teeth really unhealthy. If you don't actively prevent decay, you'll get a cavity. Brush -a, brush -a, brush -a. Teethy, teethy, teethy. Now they're cleany, cleany. Now they're cleany, cleany. Very good, you're a natural at brushing. A cavity is a little hole in your tooth. If a cavity is ignored, it can cause a lot of pain and even lead to an infection. But if the dentist finds the cavity early enough, she can make the tooth healthier with a filling. That's why it's so important to visit her regularly. Very beautiful, nice, good job. She seems nice. I thought dentists were monsters. Now that you know what to expect, it's much less scary, right? Now for our next question. What can you do to keep teeth clean even when you don't have a toothbrush or toothpaste with you? Are you kidding? I wouldn't leave home without my precious tooth cleaning supply. But wait a moment. What if you're headed to soccer practice and you have a snack in the car? You can't brush your teeth in the back seat. I hadn't thought of that. What can we do? Stay calm, my young dental diva. You can keep teeth healthy even between brushings by swishing with water or chewing sugar-free gum. I love gum. So, the answer is, um, swish with water and chew with sugar-free gum. You got it, Rodney. And now it's time for the Big Brush Off. It's our final challenge in which our three contestants will compete right here in our studio to find out who has the best handle on their toothbrush. Let's get started. And go. Perry's round and her back molar's like a girl who wants to win this prize, but she's followed closely by Rodney Roots, who's handling his brush with ease in spite of his former trepidation. Tom Enamel is brushing like someone who knows how to brush it. Brush it real good, but it's still too close to call. Bad technique could really gum up the works here. Put your brushes down. It's now up to our studio audience to choose our big winner. Audience, what's your say? Will it be Perry? <laughs> Tom? <laughs> or Rodney? Wow! For the first time in Total Tooth Truth history, we have a three-way tie. But who gets the prize? Perry, wait. We have all the tooth cleaning supplies we're ever going to need. But this guy? <laughs> You're right. And he's come so far in just one day. He's learned kids should schedule appointments at least once a year, like they say. And brush their teeth twice a day. And stay away from foods that cause decay. And he's also learned that if you can't brush, I can swish with water or chew sugar-free gum right away. It's decided Rodney Roots gets the prize. But as winners, you all shall wear the total tooth truth crown. Thank you guys so much. I can't believe I won an entire truckload of tooth cleaning supplies. 
Now, I'm going to face the future with a smile. And there we have it. Tune in next week to hear our philosophy on when to replace your toothbrush. Thanks for watching. Total Tooth!